boy, oh boy, have I missed daily vlogging. Man, sometimes when you do something every day, it can seem as a chore. But then once you stop it, <laughs> and you have like, all of a sudden, a very different um, routine through the day, you start to like miss what you did like every single day. So, um, that's what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> how are you guys doing? Throw a comment, let me know how you're doing today. I miss you guys. All right, so let me give you the quickest update I possibly can. Right now I'm going to drive 100 miles to check out possible bus number two. The only problem is it doesn't have AC. Uh, I'm also looking for uh, Josh to find a bus. I'm gonna help him find one as well. Uh, what else is going on? Okay, so for bus number two, I haven't even made a PDF uh, explaining like my mission statement and, and stuff like that to, to send to companies and things like that. But I already have like, it looks like a full solar system set up. Um, I have Michael, Navigation Nowhere, he's helping me out. I have, I just got off the phone with a, a vegetable oil person. He wants to uh, be a part of it too. Um, and, and not just like in financial sense, in, 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 in help, you know. Uh, he's done a bunch of conversions and things like that. Uh, we got Badge, you guys know Badge. He wants to help install the vegetable oil system. Um, shoot, what else? I mean, it's just like, it's crazy. Um, this really nice dude I met at the um, RT, actually at uh, Jamie's Van build. He's in the credits, uh, Dell. He's got some contacts, he's working some stuff. Uh, this could be, turn into something really awesome and I'm super stoked. And um, so yeah, I, yeah. We're gonna go for a ride today and we're gonna go fire up one of these mid-size buses, full-size chassis. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about in just a minute. talking about look at this looks like I hit the jackpot or did I hit the jackspot I don't know um, there seems to be quite a few buses over here um, yeah that's uh let's jump inside one all right so I I kid you not I walk in five minutes later I'm taking this baby for a spin so uh, we got some dealer plates on the back uh, this is uh, this is what it looks like here a freaking school bus. You guys have seen school buses before. Um, this one does have a wheelchair lift. The only thing that I don't like about this bus, it does not have air conditioning. But look at all the space here. You can run laps. So this is what's called a 14-3 bus. I don't know if it's 14 chairs or room for 14 plus three would be three wheelchair positions. Nice little kitchen door, I suppose. But this is, I'm not a huge fan of that, but the number one thing with me is, uh, ooh, nice seat. Um, number one thing with me is air conditioning. So. Dude, so far so good. I made it only a few feet out of here, but uh, the engine sounds so good, and the mechanics that work on these things are actually here. Um, you know, obviously, I mean, they work on these things all the time, but they're here, so I could potentially talk to them, but this thing is a beast. Um, yeah, they just gave it to me. They're like, yeah, go run it on the block. I'm like, okay. <laughs> that easy, huh? Unbelievable. Oh, air brakes, very sensitive. Honestly, this thing is so much fun to drive. It's a little on the squeaky side. Nothing I'm uh, not used to. It's probably gonna get even squeakier. But it's a very, very smooth bus in a very smooth engine. Um, and I like the fact that I can see out of the whole entire thing, as well as uh, being a little bit higher up and having a, a little nose in front of me. Um, but yeah, this thing handles super well, super smooth transmi transi transmission, uh, shifts uh, very smoothly. 
Um, I mean, I like it. He's like, you know, he said, you know, make me a deal. So, you know, these buses, uh, you know, they they don't hold their value that well. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's the only thing is like the air conditioning part. But I mean, I'd be tempted just to buy it, just to, you know, like worst case scenario, this like this is my bus, you know. And then if I find one with AC, I don't know, that, that kind of wouldn't make sense really. The air brakes though, they're very sensitive, very strong, very powerful. Oh, I don't know why this just cracks me up. The, because you know what it is, it, like the last one was like. A, a van front end, you know, but this one is such a school bus front end. Like, look at all these cool buttons here. Like, booster pump. Like, what the heck's a booster pump? Driver heater? Like, rear, you know, dome, I don't know, override, all these panel lights. I don't know. What's that? This thing? High, low, fan. What's this? I don't know. Thr some throttle button. There's so many, like, new interesting things in the air brake thing. Check this out. If you guys didn't know, these massive trucks don't even have park. You just put that sucker in neutral. And then this is like your parking brake basically. So I know it's bizarre. Um, anyways, so, so this is like a legit school bus. And I don't know, it comes with a camera perhaps. Um, a little stereo, all that would be ripped out. All this, I don't know if I'll keep this or make it wood, but you know, we can, we, we can do some fun things in this bus. A little weird because yeah, it's not in park, because it doesn't have park. But anyways, it rides really well. Look at all this extra room. That's some good head, that's some good uh, space, huh? The last one, I had to do this. So it's plenty of space. And if you guys didn't watch the, the build videos, this right here uh, takes up about maybe three quarters of an inch. So, because there's plywood down there, and then there's uh, the rubber on top. And actually, there it's not too bad. You know, have a nice little opening here and one in the middle. That's okay. That could be a skylight. This potentially is the bed area. This potentially is the bathroom. I don't know how that's going to work with that uh, wheel well there, but you know, maybe put the toilet on top of that, shower at this part. I don't know. There, there's plenty of space, I think, in this. How many windows we got? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. So what's that? Eight, nine. So it's potentially a nine-window bus. This is actually maybe a little bit bigger than I thought, which is a-ok -okay with me. I just wanted that shorter wheelbase um, because the the big long ones are just a little bit too long for me. But let's. I'm gonna open up the hood in a sec. I'm gonna leave this sucker running, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look in there for batch and also for myself and for you guys. Uh, a lot less rust than my bus. There's a little rusting on the, the, the headers down there for the exhaust. This bus is a 2002, so we're talking 16 years old, and the blue paint is still on the valve covers right here, as well as the turbo. Um, this is the cleanest. This is cleaner than my 2003. This is a 2002. But look at this. Decent amount of uh, tread on the tires. I mean, it looks like somebody spit shined the engine before I got here. Let's check out the uh, chassis underneath and see what kind of rust we're looking at. By the way, this is up by Seattle. There's no freaking rust. No rust at all, so I don't know. I'm gonna say this is a very, very good bus here. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say this one is uh, <laughs> no good. I'm just walking through their bus lot because they they said there was another bus over here <coughs> that is available, although it didn't start, and it has dun 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 no handicap door. However, I don't know the condition of the bus quality-wise. Here it is, bus number 52. I don't know the condition of the bus. And obviously, I would not want to trade a bus. In my opinion, that bus I took for a spin was in fantastic shape. I wouldn't want to trade 
a fantastic shaped bus with something that looks better but doesn't operate as well. I guess it could be the batteries. I'm not really sure if that's if that's the case. I could swap them out, but here's the other bus. Not as nice on the inside. Looks like they did rip out some seats, which actually they did me a favor. I don't know if it's longer, but this one is a nine window bus. So it also has the shorter wheelbase, which I like, but would provide a little bit extra space, you know, inside. More windows, more space. Each window, well, that's the front ones. Each window here is about, I don't know, two and a half feet, three feet, whatever, however long my arm is. I'm six foot one. So I'll have to call back and inquire. Um, a little bit dirtier on the inside. The keys are in it, bus number 52. So the question is, what's the scoop on this thing? Let's look at the tires here. Okay tread, nothing fantastic. No tire rot, nothing super, super crazy old. It's okay, this one's all right too. So guys, what do you think? Throw in some comments. Do you think I should go with one of these buses without air conditioning? I, I just don't know. The price though, the price is gonna be fantastic. I already know, just from talking to them. So, could I live without onboard air conditioning? Or could I mount air conditioning on the roof? I don't know, we will see. Only time will tell, my friends. interesting day if you ask me before I started bus number one where I would be in about two years I would not I've made the lights go off I would not I would not have guessed it would be busless hunting for another bus I thought bus number one was the ultimate perfect version of a school bus that I could possibly build. It was different, it was unique, it was rustic, it was uh, one of a kind, it was a uh, rustic recycled man cave. Reclaimed man cave. Um, there's no way, yeah, there's no way I would have <laughs> guessed I would be doing this all over again. I, I would have thought to myself, why on earth would, <laughs> would you ever want to go through that torture again? But in fact, it is a kind of expression in a way of, of, of design, of space, of functionality, of, of traveling, and also um, a way to make others feel comfortable. It's a home. It's not a school bus. <laughs> That's the thing, you know, like it used to be a school bus, but it, it's a home. It's a, a place of, of cooking meals and, and of course the traveling aspect of it and uh, sharing stories and uh, you know all sorts of wonderful things meeting new people and friends and strangers and uh, yeah giving <laughs> lots of tours <laughs> I know there's gonna be even more in this one um, I called badge I talked to him about the bus I told him how fantastic that engine sounded um, really it was a pretty darn good bus. I mean, there's no rust, no any of that stuff. And uh, I was thinking about the air conditioning situation. I, I was adamant about having air conditioning. And then I realized with all this power, this electricity I'm going to have on board on, uh, on this bus, it's going to be a slightly different setup, more powerful. I can run one of those RV style uh, air conditioning units on the roof. So cold air enters the vehicle. It doesn't matter if it comes out of the dash or not. Um, and instead of, uh, and I mean, they're under a thousand bucks. I think some of them are even like five, 600 bucks. Um, if you get the low profile ones, I don't know. There's different models, but uh, you know, I spent like $2,500 on the last one trying to get it fixed. 
I could have bought like two to five air conditioning units. <laughs> I mean, and then I wouldn't, yeah, to, to have it unattached to the, to the engine, it's um, interesting. Also, if I have it parked and I can plug it in someplace, if it is summertime, uh, just like a trailer park, you know, uh, then I can just leave the air conditioning on. That'd be fantastic. I don't think I'm gonna have enough battery to keep it going to operating off of the batteries. You need some major, major power for that. Um, but who knows, I don't know, maybe I'll get a generator or something. Or just avoid hot climates. That's kind of what I've been doing anyways. With the exception of uh, VidCon, but that was just, that was worth it. <laughs> wouldn't, you, wouldn't you say? <laughs> so anyways, um, oh also, before, you know what? I'll do it in the next one. I forgot the last two videos to thank uh, the new Patreons, but uh, I don't want to shove it at the way end where nobody, not nobody, where less people watch it. So I will call it a day. Very optimistic, very excited. I'm also shopping for a bus for Josh. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before. If not, I'm also, I'm in charge of that. Um, so I, I have some news for him. He's off at the Shorty Awards in New York City. So catch you uh, on the next upload, which I think I'm gonna do every other day until I get back in a bus and back on the road. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it, appreciate it. You know what I'm saying.